Hey Comfy, can you retain this face, change the hat to pink hat and make the text logo green and then how about we swap the face on this image? Today I'm going to show you the ultimate face swapper that understands natural language and can do more than just face swapping. Hello you beautiful people, this is another tutorial on Ace++. If you saw the previous one, you know how amazing this is. And now I'm going to show you how you can do these cool face swaps that not only retains the face, but can add other stuff too, like, well, my hat here. Now it's uh, black and yellow, so this is the original one, nothing fake here. Let's swap the face and add a little color to it. Oh, and I got some pre-beard going on here. What do you think? I used to hate facial hair, but uh, then it grew on me. You're awesome. Keep smiling. Oh, and I have Geralt here. Well, uh, actually there, there he is. So I need more stuff up here. If you got it, I'll take it. There's also a book here. This is Terry Pratchett's Moving Pictures, one of the Discworld books. If you haven't read the Discworld series, they're amazing. Can recommend. Let's go to Comfy. When we're finished today, we're going to see something like this. I'm going to guide you through this workflow. I'm going to help you get it installed. But basically, we've uploaded two images, one of the image you want as your main. You want the new face. In this case, this is my beautiful face. We're masking that and then we're getting the end result as soon as you can see here. And it's probably also having the thumbnail. We also saved my hat here. And that's because we actually put that in the prompt. You can see retain face, keep the black hat and yellow text logo. But how do you get this? Okay, let's figure this out, right? All the links are going to be in the description. First, you need the workflow. Where do you get it? There is a Patreon link. Don't worry. It's not locked behind a paywall. I just have a lot of stuff there. I have paid stuff too. And as with many of my guides, this was released behind paywall first to my loyal Patreon subscribers. And now I'm making this video and this guide will be free for all of you and you can download the workflow. So the paid people, well, they're just getting ahead a little bit. So you're just going to go to this link and you're going to scroll all the way down just past this little text and image guide with all the stuff and the settings and, and whatnot. And down here, you're actually going to see this link here. So just press that flux ace face swap, and then you're going to drag and drop that into your comfy. Now, if you don't have Comfy, if you have no idea what this is, well, go to my channel, search for how to install Comfy UI. When you're dragging this in, you might get a lot of red nodes. There might be nodes, well, like this one, the Power Laura loader, or stuff down here, or whatever. They might be red. That means you don't have them. So you don't go into your manager, install missing custom nodes, and here's going to be a bunch, and just select all of them, press install, then restart your Comfy. And when you're back, this is what you should see. Well, except for my pretty face here, right? You also need to download a bunch of models. So we're going to use Flux Fill FP8. We're going to use Clip L. You're going to use the FP16 text encoder here. We're using this Portrait Laura, which is the Ace Portrait Laura. And then we are using the Turbo Laura. This is not required. This is optional but if you are on a lower end system it can get you quite a lot of speed we're also having this v vae ae.safe tensors so the first ones the fill and the portrait laura and the turbo laura these you can find in the description you can also find them in the patreon guide the links here you can also find them in the workflow on the left here but just because you have all the instructions here Please don't just quit this video. The longer you watch, the happier YouTube is, the more I can make these videos for you. So copy the links from the description. Here's the portrait Laura. Get that, download it, place into your Comfy UI models, Laura's. The Flux Fill FP8, download that here. That one goes into your models, diffusion models folder. And the Turbo Laura, download that. That one goes into your models Laura's folder. Those are the only ones you need to download manually from outside of Comfy UI. The Clip L, the FP16, the VAE, the Ace.safe tensors. You can all find them from the manager. And then you go to Model Manager. And here you can search for whatever you need, like AE.safe tensors, for example. Uh, and that one's down there. Or you can search for 
T5XXL FP16, that's the one. So you can download that one. After you have downloaded those, you gotta refresh or restart your comfy, doesn't matter which. So what's going on here then? Okay, let's go over how you'll use this. So if you drop an image in here, and let's take this and then pretend we just dropped my face in here, right? So we have two images, all the models we've installed, we've dropped in our images. What do we do now? Well, first of all, you right click this and you select open in mask editor. Now, someone smart out there watching this might be saying, eh, Seb, this is all manual work. That sucks. Why don't you just uh, get a automatic face detailer and do the work for you? Well, you can. And, you know, that's pretty smart. Uh, and, and if you can do that, yeah, go for it. But the one thing that's kind of missing from that is now we're not only swapping the face. Now we want to swap in this little hat up here, too. So th that way we actually have, uh, have to do this manually. But if you, if you don't want to do hats and stuff that's outside of the face, by all means, build an automatic uh, detection for the face, and then you won't have to do this manually, right? So, good thinking. Anyway, save this, and now you'll have this mask on here. This image will automatically resize, so we have an image re resize here. If it's larger in any, any dimension than 960, it will be downscaled. Why? Well, I don't want you to sit here three hours waiting for your face swap, right? If you have a big system, when I say big, I mean you have hardware and that's actually good and a GPU, you know, I don't know, 40, 80, 40, 90, 30, 90, whatever, right? Go for it, increase this. And also if you have a very low end system, maybe decrease this. But I found this is a good like middle ground. The image is resized. The mask will be blurred here with a little Gaussian blur, and then we have to write a prompt. So in this case, we're writing retain face, keep the black hat and yellow text logo. Why do we do that? Why don't we just say like retain the face? Is that not going to work? Well, let's try it. It might. And if we generate this, I'm currently generating with 12 steps at Euler with the Turbo Laura. And generally, we generate with eight steps at Turbo Laura. I just, I don't know, I, eight steps works well too. I just added four more and I felt it was cool, right? So here we have our result. We have retained the face and we, we got the face. We got some Viking hair too and, you know, thinning up here too. I don't, do I? Yeah, maybe a little bit. You can't see because of the hat. So, you know, not a bad face swap. You can see the preview of, of it here, right? Now, again, we're running the turbo lore now, so the quality isn't right there, but you know what? You know what's amazing? If you check the note here, settings for three, super fast, fast, best quality. So now we're running the super fast one. We're running Euler, Turbo Laura, 20, 12 steps, Tcash on. What is Tcash? It's this little thing here, Tcash for image jump. This is going to speed up your generation by well, up to like 100%. No, not 100%. It will up to... Well, I'm not mathing right now. It, it, it will um, take half as long. That's what I meant. If you don't want to use this, you can disable it by right-clicking, pressing Bypass or Control b right? So if you want the best quality, Tcash off, go for Euler Ancestral, for example, for 25 steps. And that takes 40 seconds on my 4090. And the settings we're running now takes about 8 seconds on my 4090. So kind of a huge difference, right? And even though, you know, the finer detail isn't there here now, you can see that the face swap works. I mean, you can even do retain face. The man is angry. And while we're looking at this here, it's going to be hopefully less than eight seconds. Ooh, we actually got the hat now. And you can see that this man is angry. I would be too. If we run this Again, let's remove the facial expression and let's do keep the black hat and the text, the yellow text logo. That yellow is going to make sense to you uh, later on in this guide because we're actually going to change the colors. Ooh. We're generating this and we're now getting my regular non-angry face with the hat, right? And I could actually 
keep this generating now. And I'm just going to let it roll here in the background. And I would say like 80%, 90%, I'm going to get my face with this hat and a decent looking logo, right? That's the same. And if you don't know what that is, I actually had someone comment on Reddit. What's up with the name? What What's this name? What does it mean? I'm not trying to be rude. It's my name. So this is going to keep generating. Uh, you might be also wondering what's up here, Seb Flux Guidance 50. Are you some kind of a noob? Well, well, that, that's a different discussion. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. So I'm not going to. Um, but this works best at around the Flux Guidance 50. I kid you not. I mean, sure, whenever I'm doing just regular flux um, generations, I use about two, maybe 2.5. And I think, you know, you get some good realism out of that. But for this specific use case, Ace++, plus plus, get yourself some flux guidance 50. And if you've been watching my face here, you can see that we get the hats and we get the logo and we get my face and it just keeps going. And uh, this is nothing prepared. We have a random seed going. We're even running 12 steps at the Turbo Laura with Gcash. So the best speeds. Oh, here we got a broken hat. See, there we go. We got one. So most of the time it works. And well, sometimes it doesn't. And the next one, it works again. And it doesn't matter if we put like, well, I don't know what to put. Uh, we we only read, already did it angry. I only have angry and, and happy. Or actually, I'm a Swede, so we didn't even have that. We just have neutral face all the time. Anyway, so the point is, right? This works. You can use different kinds of images too. It doesn't have to be front angle. But what we can do is look at this. Okay, so change the hat to pink and the text logo to green. Look at this magic now. We're probably gonna have to wait a generation. There we go. First in. Our hat is pink. And you can see the logo coming in here now. Uh, let's see if it's broken. Oh, just a little bit. Um, it was kind of a piggish pink, but let's hope for our next one here. Our next one is, it's pretty good. We have a pink hat. We have a green text logo. Got a little unlucky with the next one here. But if you just, with li like all generations, if you let it run long enough, you're going to get some amazing stuff, right? And here we have two out of four. Uh, have been amazing. Now we actually got a, 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 a regular hat hat. Or what do you call it? A beanie? I don't know. The point is, it listens to your prompt, your natural language prompt, and tries to adapt to that. Ooh, that's fussy. And here you can see the regular hat coming in again. And this is actually, I mean, it's pretty good. It doesn't matter whatever, like what you type in. Okay, you take in the face, the man is angry. Change the hat to purple and the text logo to what's good with purple. Well, actually, this is, oh, there we go. Let's keep the yellow. So let's see if we can uh, get me angry and get the hat purple. Oh, there we go. Ooh, I mean, I should get that hat. That's a great color. Let's see here where it, when it finishes. Oh, I like this. That's a great color combo. Just purple and yellow goes great together. And we don't even have to, let's see, let's get, so what if you have a different kind of image then? Let's see, let's see what I have on my desktop here. I think I have, a, yes, this is a side view of me. This is AI generated, so it's not going to look exactly like me, but this is from my previous ACE generations. And now we ha have a side view here, so it's going to be a little off. This isn't the, uh, the greatest one, but I'm here to show you that you know, it still works ish. It's going to be a little different for each image you use. And, and you know, the better angle, if the, the, the more alike your angles are, obviously it's going to be better, right? This is like frontal facing down and this is a side view. So if you get back to like full frontal views from this or whatever you have, like this one here, it's just going to be much better, right? Ooh, that's a weird cap. So yeah. This is my favorite face swapper right now because it can just do so much. The man is bald. If we retain the face and ask where the man is bald, let's see what we get up in our next generation here now. It saves the face and I am bald. Oh, here I am. Happy bald. What do you think? Should I shave my head? 
Mm, I, I think I'll stick with my hair for a little bit longer. Or at least until uh, I'm forced to. Oh, here we got some long hair again. That's about it. I think this is uh, just super fun. Oh, and uh, if you don't want to use this fast speed one, uh, let's stop this. Disable the turbo alpha lore hair. You can uh, bypass the T cache and change to 25 steps, for example, Euler A. And uh, maybe we retain face, retain hat and yellow text logo. And now you should get a little better quality in your images. Now, obviously, this is going to take a longer time. Like I said, this is about 40 seconds compared to eight seconds on my 4090. But um, yeah, it's up to you whether you want speed or quality. Can you have both? Depends on your system, I guess. And here we are. My face. Get it while it's hot. Haven't seen anyone else doing Ace++ stuff out there. As always, no. I'll see you in the next one. As always, have a good one. See ya.